Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, day three of the Kathleen Kane trial. I'm Steve Maroney. And I'm Wallace McKelvey, and it has been a long day. But it's been an interesting day. It though. has. Uh, I, I mean, lots there, of fireworks. Lots today. of fireworks, lots of ups and downs, some interesting testimony. Uh, and I think the most interesting testimony, it sounds like, came at the uh, end of the day, at wouldn't the, you say? At the tail end, uh, Adrian King, the former first deputy for Kathleen Kane, was a longtime friend of hers, was brought in, in his words, to make sure the trains were running on time. And he was one of the intermediaries in the alleged leak of secret grand jury material to the Philadelphia Daily News back in 2014. Right, what the prosecution is saying is that the, uh, the documents that uh, that the uh, Attorney General is accused of leaking, uh, he delivered those, or he was the one who delivered those, uh, according to the prosecution, he, to he, another. He picked them up uh, right. in the office, and he took them back to Philadelphia with him, slid them between his front door and the screen door, and then Joshua Morrow, a political consultant for Kathleen Kane, uh, according to prosecutors, picked it up from the door, uh, held on to it for a month or so, redacted some things, and then gave it to a reporter. And that's one thing that the uh, prosecution is arguing, is that um, if uh, if the uh, Attorney General, she did want to uh, release these, and if this is something that was okay to uh, release to the uh, press and to the public, that it would have been done in the form of a press release or perhaps or a, a press, uh, press conference. conference. Yeah. But, she, uh, but I think it was... Uh, but we're, uh, the we're, but we're sure burning the lead here. Well, all right, during, let's go back uh, to that. <laughs> during, during testimony today with Adrian King, uh, he he dropped the bombshell. Uh, during cross-examination with the prosecution, with the defense attorneys for Kathleen Kane, uh, he said that Kathleen Kane and Joshua Morrow tried to frame him. And uh, this testimony and, came and at the end of the day it. there? And, uh, it came at the last minute, end of the day. Uh, tomorrow morning, the uh, Adrian King will be back on the stand. Uh, he was on the stand for almost two hours today. Yeah, it was quite uh, and he, and quite he, eventful. Yeah, and uh, and with the uh, uh, defense attorney uh, Seth uh, Seth Farber. Yeah, when he said, "I have a lot more questions," you could just see the uh, the, the look on his face that it's, it's yeah. going to be. It might be a grueling day tomorrow, but um, and of course, uh, of course, Adrian King wasn't the only one to testify today. Uh, you also had yeah, Bruce there, there, Beamer and correct. Yeah, he continued his uh, testimony today and um, it, uh, saying that the leak could have only come from the attorney general's office. There was testimony from some of the agents who were involved in that 2009 Maletto, investigation. Maletto, who was uh, actually was involved in the interview that resulted in the transcription that resulted in the document that went to the Daily News. He was an agent in Norristown who actually worked on uh, the case at the heart of this, the Mondeseer case. Um, Jay Wyatt Mondeseer, of course, was the Philadelphia NAACP president, yep. formerly. Uh, he's now deceased, and the allegations against him never proven in a court of law, never any charges that, that accompanied this. Uh, but the investigation was of alleged misuse yeah. of funds. But anyway, uh, it, a lot of interesting stuff today, and you can get caught up on all of today's testimony and the testimony over the uh, last couple of days, and quite frankly, the last uh, the two last years of this saga. <laughs> yeah. You can catch up on all of it at uh, PenLive. PenLive.com. All right, I'm Steve Maroney. And I'm Wallace McKelvey, and thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Bye.